Hello and welcome. Today I wanted to help you fix issues with Alan Wake Remastered. This problem often occurs when pairing an AMD CPU with an NVIDIA graphics card, especially if both are high-end. It seems to affect a lot of people. If you got Alan Wake Remastered uh, from the current sale, congratulations. But you might have noticed some graphic glitches and flickering, which isn't ideal. When I opened mine using Epic's Game Launcher, I encountered persistent flickering which obviously uh, I didn't like. So here's how to fix it. Open the NVIDIA control panel. At the top left, click on Manage 3D Settings. Go to the Program Settings tab. Click on Add. Find Alan Wake in the list. You can't really miss it. Its icon is pretty obvious. And click on Add Selected Program. Once it's there, look for Texture Filtering Negative LOD Bias. Once you found it, set it to Clamp. It will be set to allow by default. So set it to clamp. Then you want to click apply. And then go ahead and uh, we can close the NVIDIA control panel. Next up is adjusting your display. So you want to right click on the desktop and select display settings. Go to advanced display settings. And in the advanced display settings, you want to set your refresh rate to 60 Hz. This is crucial because even if your monitor supports high refresh rate, like mine, 240 Hz, keeping it at 60 helps eliminate flickering and ensure stable performance. After adjusting the refresh rate, you want to open the game. I don't know why my game chose to open at 1080p. So let's go ahead and fix that. Options. And go to graphics. Then to resolution and make sure that we have 4K resolution. Click select. And confirm. Then over here we want to accept. Then again settings. Under graphics option, choose borderless instead of full screen. If you encounter any issues, you can try windowed mode instead, but borderless is usually the best option here. Then make sure DLSS is set to your preference, but the most important thing here is to enable VSync. This keeps your frame synced at 60 fps then under advanced settings you want to choose custom instead of high and turn off TAA, FXAA and MSAA set anisotropic filtering to 16x and adjust the rest of your settings according to your system if you have a high-end PC you can max out here if everything is set you should have much smoother experience now enjoy your game don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed the video have a good one